Hello, welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing at about 154 square feet of dead space in my backyard. It is Mother's Day and it is freezing where we are for some reason. I got, I think I got spoiled <laughs> with the warm weather. But anyway, I'm out in the garden today. Um, I am gonna bury love um, and I am also going to do a little bit of straightening up. Um, so where I'm gonna bury her is right by the chicken coop area um, and so I had to straighten that area up um, I have a little storage area on the side of the shed and I'll show you that um, just in case you're wondering how you store extra things and so that it doesn't look uh, messy in the garden I'm not saying the storage area isn't messy but um, I will show you what I do to store like extra fencing um, tomato cages tea post things like that um, but right now, I'm gonna straighten up this, well, take the things in this area, which is here, um, over to my little storage area. These were like stakes and sticks that I used in the fall um, to cover. So I just like kind of hammered them down, down in the ground. We will walk over to the storage area moving through moving through <laughs> and i'll show you where i store things and how i store things so we are on the outside of the garden at this point um and so right over here i have an area that is just um i think it's like two pallets i got them from lowe's i think um, they'll let you take pallets if you ask. I know in my area they will. So, it's just two pallets. This was an old compost bin. Remember I told you that I used to compost in totes? Um, I walked over here a few weeks ago, actually. I noticed that I had potatoes growing, and so I'm letting them grow, and I'm gonna fill this with straw. I went to get straw yesterday um, from Tractor Supply, and it, they were out. Someone asked me on a video if I'm worried about the straw being sprayed. I won't say I'm not worried about it, um, but I've never had a problem with it. And so I get my straw from Tractor Supply and I, I haven't had a problem with using that straw, but that's my little storage space. It's not closed off or anything. And then I also have my water um, trash cans essentially. <laughs> <laughs> sitting on some bricks and so that's also it's used for two things keeps my dog out of the garden because she can't get over the trash can so that's a plus and I didn't have to stretch if you want to call it stretching any more fencing to close that off stretching fencing kind of sucks so one of the managers um, on my team at work gave me some uh, flower mixes um, they're from the Dollar Tree um, and this is a shady area mix and so where I um, buried love I'm gonna throw some flowers over top of it um, it's a shade mix so it says it only needs one to four hours of sunlight each day and that's kind of perfect for this spot so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let her give back to our garden. So if I'm lucky, we'll have a beautiful spot of uh, wildflowers come up this summer um, over here by the chicken coop. I've never used these before, but the directions just say to sprinkle them and kind of push them down into the soil. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna do. And I have some little bit of extra garden soil I'm just gonna throw over top of them. But I will keep you posted on that. Back out in the garden, I've switched over to Chewbacca. <laughs> it's a little bit warmer. Um, I'm doing a few things at a time and going back in the house because it's like 50 some degrees and it's been raining for two days, I think. It is cold and wet outside. But I still wanna get some things done. Um, I told you earlier that I had some potatoes that had grown in the compost pile and so i'm just gonna let them grow and see what ha i mean yeah the compost being the old one 
So I'm just gonna let them grow and see what happens. But I could not find straw, which I mentioned a little bit earlier. And so I'm gonna use leaves. I was watching, uh, I think her name is Becky over at Acre Homestead. And she said last year she um, did the root stout method, but she couldn't find any straw. So she used leaves. And so I have a bag of leaves from last fall when we raked everything up and I kept them. I have two bags of leaves actually. And so I'm just gonna fill this container up with leaves um, and hope that that works. So this is really a, a, a big experiment because I've never done this before. Uh, they volunteered, so I figured I'd keep them. So in light of my little mole problem, I went to the local feed and seed and I picked up some cucumber plants, some melon plants, um, and the eggplant, not in light of the mold problem because I didn't have seeds and I wanted some white eggplant. But anyway, I don't see that the melon seeds are working at this point. One melon seed has germinated. Um, and just to be safe, I grabbed some melon seeds um, because the mole is pushing up the soil. And so if the seeds don't have contact with the soil and moisture, then they're not going to germinate. In order to avoid, you know, not having them or having to start them a little bit later, I just grabbed some from the feed and seed store. These have two plants growing in them. This one is pretty, uh, in this case, this one is pretty small, so I'm just going to pull it out. And I'm planting them on the trellis in front of the chicken coop throwing in some bone meal and blood meal um pretty much the same way i do all my plantings just give them a little bit of extra nutrients down in the hole up in the man i'm gonna plant three on um each side of the trellis and so they'll meet in the middle this is a pickling cucumber i'm gonna put two pickle in and one slicer out so I'm going to do one at the end, one in the middle, and one at the other end. And on the other side, I'm going to do two lemon and an Armenian long. Yes, ma'am? I have 11 dishes left. Oh, nice. Nice! I also grabbed the zucchini and squash plants from the feed and seed store as well. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and plant those out today two oh those are wet that's unfortunate so we'll go back to those these have a hole in them well have holes in them um i'm gonna go ahead and plant those out too i am a bit worried um because my son i always tell you comes from this side and zucchini plants get really tall i think that the plants behind the zucchini plant will be fine because they've been out here for a while and they've already gotten a little height except for this basil right here um but we'll see what how it how it works out because the squash or the zucchini is going to take a little while to get a little bit bigger so we'll see and i can also uh prune it and pull out like the lower leaves I'm gonna take the healthier of the two. Um, and just cause it's bigger doesn't mean that it's healthier. Um, so I'm gonna take the smaller of these two. I'm gonna pull that lettuce out within the next week or so. I fed the tops to the chickens today um, because it's about time, if not over time, for me to plant my next succession of bush beans. And so the last thing I'm gonna do is the potatoes that we planted together, which are right there. Go ahead and put some straw. Um, I have a portion of my garden where um, there aren't any plants growing because they don't get a lot of sun. But I also 
use straw to stop the weeds. Since I can't find any straw, I'm gonna pull some of that straw. I'm gonna put it over the potatoes and then once I find straw, I'll just fill the walkway portion back in. It's a pretty thick layer down here, so there'll still be straw left and I'll still have straw to cover the potatoes. So now that the potatoes have come in, I'm still waiting for one right here. I can see the potatoes are coming up. I'm just gonna throw the straw in over it. I'm gonna do a pretty thick layer of this so that if the potatoes end up coming up to the surface, they aren't exposed to the sun. If your potatoes get exposed to the sun, uh, that's when they start to turn green. And this bed is pretty tightly planted. Um, kind of me trying to see how close I can plant potatoes in the ground here where I am. Um, and so I have potatoes in bags. So these are potato bags. I planted those the same day I planted these. Uh, these grew much quicker than the one in the bags, but it's still uh, another crop of potatoes if like these are planted too close <laughs> and I don't get a lot. So we'll see. It is time for me to plant out more beans. I believe I told you I am planting my beans, succession planting my beans, uh, meaning that I'm planting a different batch of beans every so often. So for my beans, I'm going to plant them every two weeks. Um, I got my coffee. It's about seven something. I'm gonna go ahead and um, Plant those out. We have like 30, 40% chances of rain um, all week this week. And so, oh, I got rid of the starts um, except for the starts that belong to me. That's gonna go in once the nighttime temperatures are like constantly 80. Uh, so I am, um, I got rid of them. There's a, young lady at work that also gardens and we were talking and she mentioned that she was like had not started her seeds and I was like oh lucky for me and you <laughs> um I have extra seeds and so I mean extra transplants so if you want them you can have them and she wanted them and then there's um one of the managers on my team he also gardens um and we seem to have planted our things at the same time but he's saying when it got a little bit colder, um, so like 40s, and I think we've had some low 40s, that his plants didn't make it. So he also took some. So that was a plus for me because I am officially almost really out of um, transplant daycare. <laughs> I am thinking I gave the, I gave the, um, melons a little more time but i think between the mole because i do think it's a mole now not a vole i don't know what i came up here for yes i do came up here for the tripod which is actually in the house <laughs> but as i was saying i think i've given the melons enough time at this point one popped up I'm not even actually sure what it is because I thought I took a picture when I planted them, but I did not. And it didn't have any labels at the time. So I did grab some melons and I may go ahead and plant those out today as well. So I ran out of bush beans. I have to go to the feed and seed store uh, this weekend. The other thing I'm gonna do is now that the plants that I potted, I uh, transplanted a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago, the chickens are back there doing something. 
um, I'm gonna go ahead and mulch them. Um, and so I had straw that was already in the bed. So I'm just gonna move it back to um, the space where they, where those plants are. Um, it's easier to mulch plants when they're short, like those beans could go ahead and be mulched. I don't have enough straw, I don't think. I may be able to pull some from the walkways that have broken down. So that's my walkway broken down. Same straw, just been there longer. Um, so I may do that and go ahead and mulch the beans that have grown up too. Um, but yeah, mulching your soil helps to keep the moisture in. It also helps to avoid splashback. Uh, splashback meaning, the, meaning when you water or if it rains, the soil uh, splashes up and gets on your plants. That is a way that disease is spread. Um, and so especially on tomatoes, it's really good to mulch the soil around them. Um, I leave some space between the tomato plant and the mulch, uh, but I do mulch my tomatoes. The other thing that good mulch is good for is keeping your weeds down. If the weeds, seeds, and seedlings essentially can't get light, then they won't grow. <laughs> so the last thing I'm gonna do, because I'm losing light, is I'm going to thin these beans. We planted them together. I'm sure you remember I put two beans in each hole. Um, and so we have to thin them now. Basically, I'm just gonna cut off the second one in each hole that's farthest away from the trellis. They all look really good, so not too worried about that. I'm gonna leave the ones that I snip just right here in the garden bed. It is important to give your plants enough space to grow. And so I have thinned them. Now they will start to grow up the trellis and I have a pretty little bean trellis. So we are out of light at this point. Um, oh, do you guys see the lights I have on my trellises though? This one doesn't have one. I may need to order some more, but I didn't yeah, as of yet. There's some right there. And when you walk through this one, there's also light. That's the garden at night a little bit. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you all on Sunday. Also, thank you all for your kind words on my video Saturday. I, I very much appreciate it. Um, that was tough and also a learning lesson. Um, also happy Mother's Day to everyone. Um, I'm late, it's Wednesday and I'm just now saying it. So um, thank you. Don't forget to visit me on Instagram at Miss MS Asia Spratly. Um, I post about the garden over there pretty much every day. Have a wonderful week. Bye.